In this video, I want to talk about SEO for offline businesses. This is something super important for any business trying to compete in today's marketplace. And SEO is basically just search engine optimization. That's what it means. And what the definition is, is anything you do to get your site to show up in search engines. So anytime you go to Google, you can do things to have your site show up when people search for certain words or phrases that relate to your business. Even if you're an offline business with no sort of web services offered or anything, a web presence is still very important for you to be able to survive in today's world because so many things are based around the internet. So it only makes sense that your business would need to have a presence there as well. And the main search engine you want to focus on because it gets so much of the search engine traffic is Google. And they get about 90% of all search engine traffic in the world. That is a huge number, and that's why you mainly want to focus on them. And if you do well there, you'll probably do well in other search engines like Yahoo, Bing, and everything else. But don't really focus on them just because they're not the biggest one. Google gets most of the traffic, so if you had to focus all your efforts in one place to get the most bang for your buck, that's where you should focus. Ranking high in Google can get you tons of new leads, and leads from places you might not have thought of. And as I mentioned before, this is very important to being relevant in today's marketplace because so many people are online searching for things. Because as more and more people are on the internet searching for things, it becomes more important that they find you there too. Otherwise, they're not going to find you because people aren't just going out to you know, brick and mortar stores like they used to. They're looking for things online first and then they go to the places that they find online. And if you're not online, you're kind of just really missing a huge portion of potential sales and customers and whatever it may be because of the fact that you're not online. So you definitely need to be there. And the way to get noticed online is through SEO. So let me take you over to Google and show you what exactly I'm talking about. So here we are at Google. So if you typed in something like hardware store, basically this is what comes up. And everything in the yellow on the top and over here on the right hand side are paid ads. And that's something you can definitely look into if you want to take your SEO and online marketing efforts to the next level. But what we're talking about are all of these results right here. These are all organic search results. So that means they show up there by themselves just by what's on their website. So as you can see, I searched for hardware store and Ace Hardware came up first, True Value came up second, and then all of these Google Places listings right here. And these correspond to this map right over here. This is another very important thing that you wanna have in your online arsenal. You wanna make sure that your business is listed over here and all the contact info is listed there. So it makes it easy for people to find things they're searching for when they're searching for something that your business offers. So the object is always obviously to rank as high as you can in the search engines, but a lot of times it can be hard and it can seem pretty daunting. But I'm just going to show you a few simple tips that you can use in order to at least have a fighting chance. So if you have a website already, you might already have done some of this. But if you don't have a website or it's not optimized, here are the things that you want to concentrate on. Number one is keywords. And keywords are words that you pick that have to do with your business. And when people search for these words, you want your website to come up. So basically, it could be, for instance, hardware store. You would want to use hardware store, home improvement, um, contractor. You just want to get into the mind of your customer and think, okay, if they were sitting down at the computer, what would they search to find my business? And then a lot of times you can come up with really good keywords that way. So for instance, if you were looking for a plumber, you could maybe use keywords like plumbing leak leaky pipes, clogged toilet, so just things that have to do with what that business does. And then you would use those keywords in order to optimize your website. And once you have those keywords, you would use those in the on-page SEO efforts. And that's anything that you do on the web page itself to get it to rank in Google. And that's things like structuring everything on your site to make it Google friendly. So you want to make sure everything's laid out in a nice, organized manner and that you provide easy ways for Google to index your site. And that's when they send out these robotic programs that go to your website and 
quote unquote crawl it in order to find out what kind of content is on there, how many pages there are and everything like that. There's ways that you can structure all that so when the bots do come to your site and they crawl it, it's easy for them to report back to Google to get it to rank. The next thing you want to pay attention to is content. And what kind of content does your site have on it? Is it relevant to the keywords that you're using? Let's use the plumber example again. Say for instance I had a website but all the content on there was about home improvement and there was hardly anything on there about plumbing or a clogged toilet or whatever the keywords I mentioned before were. Basically, that wouldn't be relevant to the keywords I was going for and I would either need to choose new keywords or start structuring the content geared towards those keywords and having to do with clogged toilets, leaky pipes, or plumbing, or plumbing repair, or whatever it may be. You just wanna use those keywords in the content that you have on your site, so when the bots see the content you have there, they'll be like, oh, well the keywords that he's trying to rank for and that are in his site match and are relevant to each other, so this is a good site. And finally, does the content you have on your site offer value to people visiting it. If it's just stuff that doesn't make sense and it's just stuff full of keywords and if you read it out loud it doesn't make any sense, doesn't sound like somebody who spoke English wrote it or whatever, you get penalized for that. So you wanna make sure that you have a lot of high quality content on your actual website. And that could be anything from articles about how to do common household repairs if you're a plumber, or it could be an article on how to unclog the kitchen sink, and then when somebody from Google goes to your website and sees all this valuable content that people can actually use to better themselves or better their situation, they'll rank you higher. The next thing in our SEO efforts are relevant backlinks to your website. And basically what a backlink is, is it's a link from somebody else's website back to your site. And these are very important to ranking well in the search engines because Google thinks, well, if people are linking back to this guy's site so much, he must have really good content on there. And that's the way that you get a lot of backlinks to your site is you offer great content that people wanna to link to. I know that sounds like common sense, but it needs to be mentioned. So there's a lot of really covert ways in order to get backlinks to your site. Some are way more covert than you even wanna get into, but just make sure you have really good content on there. And another thing you could do is put videos on YouTube and link those back to your website. And then you could also create Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and other social media accounts to link back to your main site from your profile. Another note on YouTube is it's a really good method to get a lot of really good backlinks because it's the number two search engine used behind Google. So there's a lot of people on YouTube. For instance, again, if you're a plumber, that's a really good way to get a lot of views on your video. Uh, make a video how to install a water heater. And the next time you're installing one of those, just film the whole process. It doesn't have to be a really good video, just show people what to do so they could do it. And I know that sounds like, well, I don't wanna give away all my trade secrets, but chances are people aren't gonna do this anyway, but they're gonna find your business through that video because they're gonna wanna pay you to do it instead of screwing something up themselves. And the last thing I'm gonna touch on again is Google Places. And again, this is a really good way to get traffic back to your website because as I showed you on Google, it puts your business information on the interactive map that shows up in the search results and it had all of those little spots right in the middle of the search results. So if somebody local is searching for a business similar to yours, they're gonna see you come up on the Google Places map and in the Google Places listing and they're gonna click on your results because they know that you're local and they need somebody now. This is a very important part of SEO because it helps potential customers find your place of business, whether it be while they're sitting at home looking on the computer or on their mobile phone or whatever it may be while they're out on the go. Whether you're an online or offline business, SEO is very important to your overall strategy because as more and more people are using the internet to find information about what they need, the more important it becomes for you to rank higher so they can find your business.